What's up guys, Alex from Palm Beach Sports Cards here, back with a little mail day. Uh, got a handful of packages from some different uh, collectors on YouTube, so I wanted to go through that. Um, first up here is from my buddy Shane at Shoebox Legends. Uh, I mentioned him in a, in a previous video. If you're not familiar with his channel, uh, be sure to go check him out. He actually just hit 100 subscribers he should have way more than that. Um, his content's awesome. Uh, I'd recommend unsubscribing for me and going and subscribing to his channel. But uh, just kidding. But but his channel is great. Puts out videos almost every day. Uh, all kinds of interesting topics. And he's having a contest right now, a video response contest uh, for his 100 subscribers. It's got two prizes, both PSA slabs of nice cards. I think it was a, uh, a Tatis minor league card and a Vlad rookie card. I mean, so it was aw that was numbered. Um, so awesome, awesome giveaway. So go check him out. Uh, put a little note in here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, for keeping your eyes peeled for the Heritage SPs. Hope you can use one or two of these, but don't be offended if you pass them on to someone or include them in an egg auction. I, I would never sell something that, that got gifted to me uh, from a fellow collector. Uh, you can just ask my wife. I keep every Tiger's card I get my hands on, basically. But um, appreciate it, Shane. I've been sending him all of the high-numbered cards that I got out of Heritage this year. Uh, I actually just sent him a package out in the mail. It was either yesterday or today uh, with another... I don't know, a dozen or so high numbered cards. Um, so I'm gonna drop a link down below to his uh, to his video regarding his giveaway. Uh, so check that out, and I would definitely encourage you though to check out the rest of his channel because re really good stuff. So all right, he's got that one kind of hidden up, so we'll we'll do that last. It's like a little pack, very nice packaging. He knows about the the little tab on the tape. I mean, I gotta love that. It's like we got some vintage tigers in here, which is awesome. Gus Zerniel, these are awesome. I'll have to get out. Uh, I have a big binder uh, that was originally my dad's from when we would go to card shows when I was a kid. And he would just pick up like all of the ty vintage tigers. And so it's it's got like most of the, you know, kind of like the team sets working on from, from all the different years. Um, and so I'll go through, I'll have to look, see if he's got these in there. If not, maybe I can uh, start working on that for him. So, Fred Gladding, oh, the bird, Mark Fidrich, that's a cool one. Uh, Grandy Man, oh, loved the Grandy Man when he was on the Tigers. Uh, cool JV, I uh, do not think I have this one. That's a cool card. And I definitely PC Verlander big time. I try to collect all of his cards. It's, he's just one of my favorite players. Uh, some cool cat canines here. What is this out of? That's out of Upper Deck. It says Upper Deck Pastime Penance. Al Kalon's just an incredible ball player. Um, never played a day in the minor leagues. Went straight from high school uh, to the bigs. Straight from high school to the Detroit Tigers where he played his entire Hall of Fame career. So that's why he's called Mr. Tiger. Uh, just an absolute legend. Uh, certainly one of my favorite cards is my, my K-Line rookie card. So very, very cool. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Shane. And let's see what we got here. This might be something rubbing red socks in my face. I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god. No, you didn't. Dude, you have to be. I'm literally speechless. Wow. Look at this card. Al Kaline autographed. Upper Deck Baseball Heroes. 
numbered out in 99. Wow. From 2005 upper deck. Unbelievable. I mean, this is, wow. One of the best cards in my collection now. <laughs> um, I, way too generous, Shane. I mean, for me giving you a bunch of, of high numbered base, um, that's incredible. I'm, I'm literally speechless right now. Um, wow. Glad I saved that one for last. Numbered out at 99. Oh my God, guys. So, so like I said, please go check Shane out. Please go sub his channel. He's a great guy. I mean, this totally did not need to do this. It was totally not expected. When he first even asked me to send stuff back to me, I said, dude, don't even worry about it. You know what I mean? I'm just sending him basically base cards that are just gonna, you know, sit in a box or sit in a binder that, that you know, had little to no value to me. Um, and for him to take that and turn it into an alkaline line autograph. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, first K-Line autograph card I have. I believe I have got a signed pennant, um, something that I got from like the Tigers Kids Club when I was a kid growing up, but I can't, I can't wait. My parents were just here like a week or two ago. K-Line's my dad's favorite player, so I, I, I can't wait to show this to him. Uh, he's gonna be blown away by that, so th thank you again. Uh, like I said, guys, the link is down below. Wow. I don't know. I don't even know how I keep going from there. Uh, let me try to get through the rest of this. I'm sorry. Okay, so this next package is kind of a big one. This is from uh, the Skull Bros Sports Card Talk Show. They did another one of their live auctions. May have had a couple, uh, couple beverages before I hopped in there. So a little liquid courage, but got some awesome cards. Got this DeAndre Swift. That's like the, the variation, the kind of black and white. Um, the mosaic, one of the, I don't remember what that's called, the yellow and red or gold and something, gold and orange. Uh, the pink out of mosaic, so very cool. Elite series out of Donruss. The rookies, which I just love these cards. Very cool. Uh, bought a bunch of puckets. And while we're doing this, let me, yeah. let me grab just got this in. Sorry, this was an eBay pickup. I was trying to just keep this to, to YouTube stuff, but I just got this in today in the mail. So got some, some Kirby uh, Fleer rookies that I picked up off eBay. So I figured while we're looking at the uh, the Tony Gwynn's, or sorry, the Kirby Puckets. Uh, my mind's still mush from that K-Line sitting right there. A uh, few Moss Star Quests. I think they have Jerry Rice on one side, Randy Moss on the other. These are from uh, 98, so I guess these would technically kind of be like Moss rookie cards, right? Um, this is really cool. This is like a mini Diamond Kings Ripken, and it's numbered out of 1,000. That's really sweet. I don't know how I snuck this by old Burke Knowledge over there. And then this card is awesome. Uh, I have the, the Cecil Fielder. Um, I think it's a little bit different, but I, I'm gonna show that off on another video. Um, but you can see, yeah, numbered out of 50,000. So sh super short print, but it's like one of those, uh, it's like made out of China. I don't know how to open this, but I'll figure it out later. But, but really cool, it's got like the gold border on it. Um, I think these cards are just so cool. You don't see them all the time. They're like super thin too. Um, really, really cool though. So yeah, I, it didn't matter what player it was. When I saw that, I was like getting it, getting it. Um, cool. Marshall Falk. Guy that's just so underrated in the hobby. Um, really cool. And I'm just kind of sniping up slabs anytime I get the chance. Here's a, uh, a Moss rookie, a BGS 8. I don't love um, BGS slabs, but um, I made a deal where I think I got all three of these cards for I think 50 bucks, that said. Yeah, so it's nice that they, they left that on there. So a lot of times I forget what I ended up 
picking stuff up for. But I got these three mosses. This one's really neat. Uh, PGC, who I've never heard of, obviously. Um, but it's a refractor numbered out at 999. And man, I was looking this over, and this thing looks clean. So uh, obviously they gave it an 8.5. I mean, it's probably not worth snapping out or whatever. But just you know, the refractors. They're numbered. I mean, that's a cool card to me, 2001 tops. So, was really happy with that. Uh, check out their auctions. I try to uh, post that on my Twitter anytime they're having one. Um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll drop that link down below too. Check that out, because I, I, I try to uh, repost anytime I see somebody's doing a sale or something like that, one of the guys, so. Um, next, we got a package from Jimmy Guns and the Gun Show. And this was pretty cool. Um, just a totally random pickup. This Brooks Robinson PSA graded card. It's a 6. 61 tops. Just a nice looking shot of him. I mean, talk about great eye appeal. I mean, this is why vintage is so tough. I mean, because this... Corners aren't perfect, but, but pretty darn good looking card. Um, of a Hall of Famer. Yeah, so I, there, there was no going wrong with that, in my opinion. <clears throat> and then lastly here, lastly, up. Oh, these were just some kind of random, wasn't an eBay. I mean, it wasn't a YouTube pickup, just something I got off eBay. Got some more Unleashed. Got the Griffey finally. So that's one I've been looking for. I think I already have the Acuna. So any of these that I already already have, I'll just probably work into an egg auction or something like that. I got that card show coming up at the end of the month too. So plan on doing a video, just kind of a, uh, a behind the scenes on that. Um, but I, again, uh, thank you so much, especially Shoebox Legends. Please guys, do me a favor, go check out his channel. Uh, I, I almost feel guilty he just hooked me up with such an awesome card, but I really appreciate it. Man, that's going in a, in a one touch and that's going on display in my in my home office where I, where I put like my favorite cards and so that's awesome. So, all right guys, I'll talk to you soon. See you.